guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i hope you're all doing really well today we are all hands on deck with the builders in the garden and um we've got two teams two like building teams builder teams of builders and we've got half of them doing the kind of render on the wall and the other half like the landscape team the gardener team starting to do the patio and stuff so tom and i are actually working from home today and kind of keeping our eyes on the progress and you know we're just here to hand if positioning of things needs to be questioned and everything like that so anyway i thought today would be a good day to pick up the camera and give you guys a bit of a garden update i know i've kind of like briefly shown garden updates here and there um and kind of like teased it on instagram quite a lot i've shown you so oh did you hear my knee click then <laughs> so today that is what we're gonna do and i think we might actually get out tom wants to cut the lawn and i want to move across some pots and bits that we've been picking up along the way from like antiques fairs and stuff we've got like a mirror fire pits and pots that i want to get out of the builder's way so what we're going to do is we're going to pop them all for now anyway even if they're not going to stay there we're just going to pop them on that kind of graveled corner section which i'll show you if you're new to my channel or don't know what i'm talking about and haven't been following along on instagram then i will explain it all when we get out there um but yeah hope everybody is well what's new with everybody i feel like we're in the season now where people are starting to go away we always find as content creators generally speaking that the months especially of july and august not so much june but july and august that views get a little bit quieter because people tend to go away We've actually got a busy couple of weeks, the first couple of weeks of July with my brother's wedding and our holiday as well. So I might even, I'm not sure yet, I might even for the first time ever just take a couple of weeks off doing YouTube but then I really do miss it and I don't like not having content for you guys. So what I might do is instead of missing content, I might actually just pre-film some bits. Let me know, let, let me know what you would like to see. Whilst I'm away, would you prefer just even if they're going to be small videos just something for me to upload or do you guys not really notice if i was to have like a couple of weeks of doing no youtube videos what do you think because i never take time off and that's one thing i definitely feel like i need to do more of that doesn't necessarily mean that i can just take time off altogether it could just be that i have a busy pre couple of weeks to my time off my holiday so i can actually relax and enjoy it um although having said that i'll probably end up vlogging the holiday anyway <laughs> so i'll still be in some kind of work mode but just not having to film and upload whilst i'm there might just soften the workload and allow me to actually enjoy it so yeah we're a couple of weeks away from that yet so i've got time to plan but let me know would you prefer just some content or does it really not bother you and you just see me when I get back kind of thing? Because if so, like if you do want some content, it might just be that maybe I just do a couple of shorter videos, even if they're just haul videos or something, like summer content, haul, home hauls, fashion hauls, whatever kind of video, but just rather than like a lengthy vlog, just to do a couple of haul videos. I don't know. Let me know, let me know your thoughts. But otherwise, today, oh gosh, it's a bit knotty there. I do love these Tangle Teaser brushes, they're honestly, I, I can't remember. It's one of those tools that I, I just can't live without now that I can't remember what it was that I used to use before because I've been using them for years. Especially I think for those of you that also have long hair and even more so long color treated hair like lightened it can get quite knotty and yeah tangle teaser is just the only solution nowadays i'm just using my ghd curves just to add a bit of curve to my hair today not that i'm doing anything so i'm not going to go excessive with the heat just like you saw then just literally hold it for a couple of seconds to give it a bit of 
shape and soften the frizz a little bit and then hold on let me just move my mirror up and then at least i've got some kind of style to my hair because i don't like excessive heat if i'm not actually going anywhere or doing anything especially if we're just doing a bit of gardening as well um i might even end up throwing it up so just a little something to just soften that frizz and make it last for the next few days that's all i do on days like today yeah another new thing in my life that i've been watching if anyone's interested in what's a good tv recommendation i have just started the traitors us season two it's on bbc iplay the full series has been uploaded so you can have a good binge session if you like the traitors i've literally watched all of them there's there was one us i think one or two australian maybe one and two uk versions two or three i can't remember but anyway i've watched them all and each one has had a different outcome so i love that and i love the fact that they've already said they are recruiting for the next traitors uk i think it's just such great reality tv in in terms of like game shows that was a fail <laughs> in terms of the game shows it's a good one and if you do like the others then i'd say stick with it even though it's not as good as the uk i think it's just because you can't relate to it and they have celebrities and it's just it's not as good but it's always worth it for the outcome so yeah that is what I've been watching this morning whilst I've been just redoing my nails. I've just thrown on some, thrown on, popped on some of the gel nail stickers that I like to use just because I think they last longer than gel polish. They're linked on my Amazon storefront. Most of my Amazon purchases are linked on my storefront and I've actually worked with them recently to have get some more garden bits ahead of the renovation. You might have seen I worked with them on an Instagram reel. And um, yeah, so we've added some more garden bits to my Amazon storefront if you wanted to see things that I picked up, um, like pots and plant markers and tools and equipment, all sorts of things. Anyway, I am going to finish off getting ready, not that I'm really getting ready, but just we'll run a bit of oil through this and that's it. Um, and then I will see you guys downstairs in the garden whilst we move some bits over to that corner section. I'll show you the herbs that we've got as well and, uh, and mow the lawn, i.e. get Tom to mow the lawn. This is how we're looking for now. Just pop to the little watering can there. The fire pit in the, well, it's not even in the middle really, but fire pit kind of centralized and we'll probably get some furniture to sit around it. We've just popped all the little pots and stuff that we've bought from like antiques fairs. Most of these are from Arthur Swallow's antiques fair. In fact, all of them are. Um, and yeah, this is how this little corner's looking and I love all these antique pots, but it's funny because I thought these were huge, but in situ, <laughs> I think I could definitely get bigger. We can get some little potted flowers within those just to dress up the garden or even just like as they are. Like these kind of olive, no not olive pots, what they call comfy pots with the sort of dripping detail. I think they just look nice even just on their own with nothing even necessarily in them. Then I've just had a slight rejig of the uh, herbs and the placement for them just to make sure the ones that need to be in the sun are in the sun. We've got chives, oregano, basil, fennel, We've got some thyme, parsley, I'm not sure what that one is, Hi hyssop, Hi hyssop, chicory, caraway curry, angelica, lemon vivina, sorrel, tarragon, sage, what's this one? garden mint plenty of rosemary because we love rosemary some lemon balm mint basil and then some bay trees savory winter i'm not sure what that one is going to be like but we'll give it a go and then celery leaf
Right, those bits have been moved. I'm just gonna pop to Gail's to grab a lunch. Do you want to come with me? I think he does. <laughs> I'm just gonna go grab lunch, a couple of coffees for myself and Tom, and then we're also going to get a delivery when I get back, because I've just had a text from HomeSense to say that my two pots are getting delivered. Also, the patio is going down, and it looks so, so good. Um, so I'll show you those bits when I get back. Should we go quickly get some lunch before the delivery gets here? Maybe just pop in and, oops, I'm nearly down. Might just pop in and have a look, see if they've got that um, Oxfam store in Didsbury that's next to Gales. There's, <laughs> there's that Oxfam that's had that Zara home delivery in the past. Oh, should I put this outside? I think I will. Because I was unsure. I got it from Asda. You might have seen in my last video, I think it was. It's a little stone effect side table, but it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. So I kind of just popped it there for now. But I think I am going to take that outside because it will go quite nicely. I think the colour and everything with the bits that I picked up for that kind of corner section. Little Asda stone effect side table there. All of the home updates today. Anyway. Let's head out, grab a coffee, grab some lunch, and then we will see as well if that trash shop has any good finds. Um, I know straight away, literally within a second of being in there, if they've had any kind of like Zara deliveries or not. Too caught up to see it, baby. We can have it all if I just could get myself together. I'm not wasting another minute. If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain. If I never try. back in the car. I just feel like I need to like give you an update. I'm like, we're back home. We're back in the car. It's like I need to just document everything that I'm doing when I'm vlogging. Every little minute detail. Anyway, we are back in the car. Gail's in hand. If you want to know my Gail's order. Um, I got... Mm. So good. I got a mocha. Decaf mocha. And I also picked up, what else did I get? Let me pop you down somewhere. It's never really anywhere convenient to put you in this car, but we'll balance you there for a second just while I show you my girl's order. I also got a cheese straw and these were fresh out. So that's the main reason why I grabbed one of those. I got, because I felt like that wasn't enough for lunch. I also got another savory option of a little salami sandwich never tried this before and then for in a bit probably i will eat this a little afternoon treat later on one of the pecan crumb cakes these are a naughty treat and then there was definitely by the looks of things no zara order zara home delivery to oxfam so i did have a quick look but there wasn't really much new in actually to be honest with you the shelves are looking pretty bare but i did find this that i picked up it's a greeting card book it's called which you guys know me and my obsession with having a little stockpile in our storage room of spare gift wrap and gift cards as when i see them and i buy them i like to keep them i thought this is a really good concept the actual book itself as well it's dated so you could even be super organized and have on here the each person in your life's um date birthday um or any other occasions that you've got maybe if you've got like weddings or something and as and when you see a wedding card you can slot it in there for um the time when the time comes but yeah we've obviously got january february these are just some of the card designs very kind of countryside look at that oh i love that because they're paintings you could even i was thinking not that i necessarily would for our house but have a good look through these and you could even frame them and then on the back you've also got kind of like a dress page um a dress book <coughs> oh without fail 
I always have a sneezing fit when I go into a charity shop. I feel like it's the dust in the air. Let's get these windows open, get some fresh air in. And head back home, back to the garden, whereby my pots have been delivered. Tom's just moved, um, told me he's moved them onto the kind of corner section where I put the other bits. So I'll get back and show you those that I've ordered. Well, I actually got them in store, but I had them um, delivered with HomeSense Direct. Let's get back out in the garden before apparently it's gonna chuck it down today. <laughs> where is this summer sun? I feel like we're ready for you. Well, almost, the garden is almost so so close to being ready for some summer sunshine i guess we could even sit on the grass and everything now but once the patio is finished being laid once the gravel has been delivered and once the furniture has arrived then i will be ready for some summer sunshine here in the uk excuse the fact that i'm probably just got food all around my mouth just tucking into my lunch but i've also come home to uh a parcel which I thought I'd open one. In fact, there's two. There's three, but one is actually part of a wedding gift for my brother. But, but I've come home to this from a company called Image ADS Anti Aging Delivery System, and they've sent me a I think it's a let's have a look. Oh, okay, it's derma planning. So I've actually started doing this a bit more regularly recently but they if you've not seen them before they do these little kind of um face shavers essentially shape and shave so you can use it for your brows you can use it for like peach fuzz and he has on your upper lip anywhere really but it not only removes facial hair and peach fuzz it also exfoliates dead skin for smoother skin so because they have that metal blade they've also included one of their sanitizing sprays to help keep it clean perfect well thank you so much to the team but yeah they've also included a discount code so if you want to try it out for yourself um the code freya20 will get you 20 percent off i am probably due doing that within the next couple of weeks i'll probably just hold off until the wedding i feel like it's just impending wedding because it's my brother's i feel like it's it's not mine obviously but we've been like a huge build up because i always think Wedding's a wedding, but going to my brother's wedding, it's it's like all of my family there. Very much looking forward to it, but yeah, I do feel like I keep talking about it a lot. Okay, ooh, Georgia Armani. I know what this is, and I have been so excited to receive this and try it out, to the point where I was going to buy it when they emailed it to me, um, emailed me the PR, I was like, oh, yes, please. So they've sent over, ooh, let's see which shades they've sent. Their Luminous Silk Cheek Tint, which, word on the grapevine. Sabrina Carpenter uses, or has at least used in the past. So we've got um, three colors that they've sent. Bold Pink, which I feel like I'm gonna love. Delicate Mauve and Rosy Peach. There was a time that I was barely a blush wearer, but I don't know if it's the Sabrina movement or the era that we're in, but that heavy blush look, um, I've sort of been trying out and loving so much that I guess I'm quite a similar coloring to her in that sort of darker eyebrows, fair hair, Quite pale skin naturally, but obviously a bit of fake tan in the summer. So that kind of pinky tones, I've always looked at peachier tones and like orangey tones. And then having had my colors done and realized I'm far more of that pinky icy shade naturally, I've em embraced that more and been loving it. So yeah, this one is rosy peach and that's far more like the color that I would have gone for. I still will, obviously I like it, but we've also got delicate mauve, so yeah, this is more better suited to my skin tone, along with this one. Yeah, bold pink. See how like icy that is? These two together, I think will be perfect combo for me. And then that one is, like I said, in the past, I would have looked at these three shades and gone straight for this one. Now, as much as I still love that one, and I think it works nice with blue eyes, these are definitely more my tone. So, so excited to give these a proper go. I feel like I want to just pop on a little bit now. Use the viewfinder. And I'm gonna mix these two. I've got bold pink, delicate mauve. 
bit on my nose. That's the other thing that I've been doing is blending it over my nose as well. Where's my phone? I think I like the combo of the two. <gasps> Love it! Oh yes! That heavy blushed look, I just... I mean, not too clown-like. We have to make sure we've blended it well, but um, using my phone and a camera probably isn't enough, but... Oh, I love that so much. What do we think? In my Sabrina era. Oh, love it. Don't know if you can tell there, but the rain has just started. You can see it coming down on that table. So I'm gonna quickly head outside and show you the HomeSense pots. Oh, and there's the front door. One second. <laughs> So we've got the render going on that wall and then yeah over here we've got all of the bits that I showed you earlier. We've got this galvanised bin that I brought over as well. We literally just found this in the ground when we were started kind of like digging up the whole garden. So we're going to keep that as a nice little planter somewhere. Um, everything else pretty much is from Arthur Swallows Antiques Fair that I picked up in uh several vlogs ago um and then these are the new home sense deliveries so as you can tell when i got these out i thought they were going to be huge they're not so decided to get these when i saw them in home sense at 7.99 for the kind of like bronzed colored one really like that and this lighter colored one so i think that was 79.99 sorry um and then I think that one was 39.99. It was either 29 or 39.99. So they had quite a few of these as well in both sizes, both colours. I think they had like a more bluey coloured one as well. Not planting anything up just yet until we've got the patio area done because I don't know where these are going to stay. Um, but for now, I think they um, are fine just set out here. I'll show you the patio as well quickly whilst it's going down. The builders are all busy working hard this is the cornstone dijon blend limestone i think because of the rain coming down for the rest of this afternoon now we're just going to set up on the sofa get cozy and have a bit of a chilled afternoon it's been a long time since i've just had a bit of a tv binge and i'm thinking whilst the rain's here oh you're getting cozy whilst the rain is here it calls for a chill <laughs> The builders are cracking on and so grateful that they are but I don't really want to be doing the planting and sorting stuff out in the garden until I need to I'm kind of waiting for the full garden to be done at least the paving and the gravel to be here before I properly place everything so we'll probably wait either next vlog next within the next couple of vlogs it should be finished or at least close to being finished. I keep saying it's close to being finished, but it is, it really, really is. And then hopefully by that point, the summer sun will be out and we can actually get out there, start pottering, doing our thing and actually spend more time in the garden, styling it, you know, enjoying it builder free. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna close off the vlog today here. It's probably a bit shorter than my usual ones, but I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. And yeah, we're gonna back to back the traitors, I think, for the rest of this afternoon and might even finish it. But just have a children on the sofa, do some editing. Enjoy this one's cuddles. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Thumbs up if you have, subscribe for more. And I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.